everybody, Kendra the Vet Tech here, and today we're gonna talk about some equine basics. So what we're gonna do in this video today is talk about halters, the couple different type of halters that you might see, how to halter up a horse, safely leading a horse, and then also where to stand for our physical exams. So we'll start out by catching one of these mares that I've got in the arena with me here with a rope halter. So the rope halter here is simply the halter that will use the enclosure of a tie on a horse. So we'll go over and catch the first mare with our rope halter here. You wanna keep in mind when you approach a horse, they have two blind spots directly in front of their face and directly behind them. So we never wanna approach a horse from directly in the front or the back without them knowing that we're coming. So usually what I will do is I'll either call out the horse's name or I'll give them a soft little cluck or a kiss so that they know I'm on my way to catch them. So this mare is eluding us. We'll see if we can follow her and get her caught with this halter here. So usually approaching them, if they run away, we wanna stop our feet. We don't wanna encourage them to run away from us. There will be a few situations where you actually have to catch the horse yourself. Usually it's situations like the horse is hospitalized with you or you're going to a farm to quickly do a follow-up on a case for a good client, something of that nature. Usually the horses will already be caught when you get there. Let's see if we can get this mare to slow down for us here. So we'll approach her softly from the shoulder. She sees me coming. Her ears are moving. She's listening. Mayor, you're not going to do it? We want her to turn her hip away. That's disrespectful. We'll just gently catch her with our arm here. I like to put the lead rope over. A nice broke horse will respect the fact that they're caught with this. We'll want to come over to their left side. Horses are used to being handled from their left. So I'll just go ahead and drop my rope here. Get my halter open on the nose band over her nose. Throw my rope over the top. And then the important part with this rope halter, guys, is we want to run it through the backside. These are adjustable to fit any horse's head, so we want to cinch it up to the size of horse that we have. Now when you go to tie this, it's important that you run the string behind and then up. So there's two reasons why we want to make sure we do this. The first and most important reason is we want this loop to be outside of our knot. So that if this horse pulls and tightens this way down, you'll be able to loosen it back up and get it off. The second thing is then the tail runs away from their eye. If we tied this incorrectly and did our knot to where our loop is caught in the knot, two things, this will run up into the horse's eye. Also, if she pulls and cinches this way down, this halter will now have to be cut off there's no way to loosen this if she gets the knot tight enough. So it's incredibly important that we always tie these correctly so we don't damage a client's property. Now when we go to lead this mare away, safety on our lead rope is we don't ever want to loop and have our hand in loops like this. Because if this mare decides to pull away, what's going to happen is this is going to cinch down on my hand, creating a dangerous situation for me. The safe way to use a lead rope is to layer it in your hand like so. So this way, if this mirror decides to pull away, it's just gonna safely pull out of my hand. So always make sure when you're leading, we layer our lead rope. Now we'll go ahead and lead this mare over to the hitching post over here and tie her up so we can use our second halter. When we lead, we wanna lead from the left. Horses are trained to work from the left. And then we wanna have a nice close grip up to her face here so we have control over this horse. And we're gonna just step out nice and easy 
and take her over to the hitching post. All right. So let's go ahead and get our buckle halter and catch up our second mirror. So we have our second mirror here to go ahead and catch. And like I said before, we're gonna go ahead and pull the lead rope over her neck so she respects the fact that she's caught here and have her pay attention. We're gonna do the same thing with our buckle halter. Open our nose band, get her nose in, flip our strap, and then we wanna put her on the tightest buckle to where it fits comfortably on her face so it's nice and snug. We don't wanna do something like this where our halter is still really loose and we won't have control. And then you always wanna make sure that you put the tail through the catch here. The other lead rope safety thing that I wanna tell you guys about is at no point do we wanna put the lead rope over our shoulder, draped around our neck, or wrapped around any body part. Even when we're just holding an empty halter in preparation to catch a horse, we still wanna practice good lead rope safety and make sure we just have it layered gently in our hands so the lead rope can pull away safely if it needs to. Some other safety factors that I wanna talk about with this buckle halter specifically is it has lots of metal rings all throughout the halter. We never at any point wanna stick any of our fingers through any of these loops. If you have a finger through that loop and a horse shies away, it's gonna cause some pretty major damage to your hand. If you need to have better control of a horse's head while they're holding a buckle halter, you can simply slip your hand through the chin strap here, just minding that your fingers are away from the loops so that it doesn't cause any damage if they do something like that. It's a good girl. It's a good mirror. All right, so we've talked about safety tips when approaching a horse. We don't approach from their blind spots directly in front or directly behind. It's not the best idea to approach from their hip or behind anyway, as those are kicking zones. We wanna make sure we approach from the shoulder forward and have the horse's attention and they know that we're coming. Talked about how to safely put a halter on, how to hold lead ropes and not get our fingers in the loops. So let's talk about safety while we're restraining a horse for a physical exam. When doing so, it's best to have control of their head and holding them close in the top of the lead rope here and also facing the horse. So we have the entire horse from nose to tail in our vision, we can keep an eye on their body language and see what they're doing for the safety of the examiner. We also always wanna stand on the same side as the examiner so that if the horse does start to fidget, kick, or have any undesirable behaviors, we can pull towards our examiner and move the horse's body away. So as you can see with that maneuver, if my examiner was on the opposite side, I don't have the best control to try and push the horse away from them. So we wanna be able to make sure that we have the pulling motion away from our examiner. So just make sure if they're working on this side, we're on this side. And then if they're working on the right side of the horse, we move over here. It is fine if you have a horse that's a little bit fidgety like this that needs a little more restraint to put your hands in here. But again, the reminder that we don't wanna get into any of the rings on the halter. So that wraps us up for this video for today, guys, for practicing safety while we're approaching a horse to put halters on, how to appropriately put halters on and use lead ropes. Do stay tuned for the next video on how to appropriately perform a physical exam on an equine. If you have any other questions, concerns, feel free to comment below or do shoot me an email at KendraTheVetTech at gmail.com. <laughs> You can also follow me on Facebook or Instagram on my social media platforms. And check out my podcast, Kendra the Vet Tech, on your favorite podcast platform. And a big thank you to Equine Adventures at Salt Creek Ranch in Linden, Kansas, for the use of their mares and their facility for the making of this video. If you're in the area, 
They do have a horse hotel facility with full hookups, so feel free to contact Carol at Equine Adventures at Salt Creek Ranch. Thanks, guys. Mm -hmm.